Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Minecraft on the Sandbox Mod Pack, and we are back. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, maybe doing a bit of machines and stuff, uh, or even uh, working on a bit of a base. But before we start, uh, over time I got some of these Ender Lilies, they're called Ender Lily Seeds if you've never seen them before. And uh, basically if you plant them on like dirt or stone, they're a lot slower, but if you put them on end stone, they're a bit quicker. Uh, to make end stone, basically all you have to do is put, say, an ender pearl in your smeltery, which I've enlarged and in height, and uh, put an ender pearl in your smeltery. And then um, you should get 250 mil buckets or so. And uh, what then you do is you take it and um, you put a piece of obsidian inside the basin. And then uh, when you... Um, Pour it, it will turn the obsidian into endstone, and uh, so you can get five of them. I actually put one ender pearl, but I have ten of them there because I guess an enderman actually physically fell into the smeltery and died inside of it. So when that happened, I ended up obtaining my uh, an extra ender pearl out of that, so that was kind of cool. So I got these over time. You usually get them in things like dungeon chests and whatnot, so. They're, uh, they're quite nice anyways. Uh, of course, last time we went to the nether, we fixed the issue with the quartz. So now when you uh, hammer quartz, it gives you quartz back like normal. And uh, none of that silly stuff that was happening last time. I did a bit of sorting here. Not really, but just for this, I put some of the ores in here. Uh, you know, like the material bars and blocks and stuff. Some of the other stuff in here. And then just some stuff in here. Just a, just a wee bit of organization to help me get started over time. I think one thing I want to work on today would probably be um, uh, getting some sort of maybe machinery up or uh, some sort of base actually. I wouldn't mind a base actually to get started, uh, live in something I can call home. It won't be so nice, but something that would be a good start. And one of the ways we can look into that is there's a few machines that we can make. Uh, say for smooth stone, etc., or cobblestone. We have chisel on here. Chisel is actually really awesome for this stuff. If we go uh, here, actually, you know what? We'll just make this instead. It'll make life a little easier. Uh, let's go ahead and find. Um, what am I going to need? I'm going to need. We have the old chisel, right? Or the the good old fashioned chisel, I think. So, I think it's just this, isn't it? I'm not sure though. One of the chisels are annoying. Ah yeah, there it is. And so basically with this, we can take, say, cobblestone and turn it into any block you want here. So them, some of them are really nice, though they're not all the, the prettiest. Um, but what you can do is use smooth stone instead. So if we go and find our smooth stone here, we can use the same thing and put smooth stone and see what it offers. And you can see it offers a lot more variety. And it looks actually somewhat decent too. So there's a lot of choices you have here. I'll probably do cobblestone for now. Cobblestone's not hard. I think I could use like one of equivalent chain or exchange or something later on anyways to um, change the blocks themselves over time if I want to change the look or whatever anyways. Uh, Annoying mobs down there. That's another thing we want to fix soon. Uh, but let's start working on the building itself. Um, so if we need more cobblestone, how are we going to do that? Well, I would, ex you know, suggest extra utilities. Extra utilities has a great way of doing this. Uh, basically, we're going to need some lava for this, of course. But um, what we're going to use here is do 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 do. We're going to use the world interaction upgrade here, which is pretty cheap. And uh, then what we're going to use is, uh, da, 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 da. here it is, transfer node. And from the transfer node, we'll probably use, uh, well, we probably won't even need a transfer pipe, to be honest. So let's, let's get some of the basics here. So the transfer node is redstone, smooth stone. Funny, I need that smooth stone that I just got rid of. Oh, that's my inventory. There you go. So smooth stone, redstone. Let's get both redstone here over time. Um, smooth stone, redstone, and then chest. There you go. And uh, there you go. Smooth stone, chest, do, 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 redstone, and then 
Oh yeah, you're gonna probably need a transfer pipe because I think it's part of that. Well, yeah, it's part of that recipe anyway. So, smooth stone glass. It's nice having these options like this. Uh, guess the update worked fine. Okay. And there we go. Uh, let me empty reload, I think it is, or whatever. There you go. Okay, so uh, we got our pipes there, and now we're going to make the transfer pipe here, the transfer node here. Just gonna, I just need one for now anyways. And then what we're going to do is we need to make a pick, so we need some iron here. And then we're going to need some wood. Sorry about those zombies. They're like under me hanging. There we go. And then we should be able to make ourselves... This guy here. Oh, no, we need some Lyapis. Oh, crap. We don't have Lapis, I don't think. If you can believe that, I used it all. I wonder if this ended up filling up Max. No, it didn't. No way. We have no Lapis at all, I don't think. It's actually kind of hilarious in a way. Running out of lapis. Okay, so where is uh, the recipe we're making? There it is. Yeah, there is no lapis. That's weird. Um, let's hide this for a bit because I'm getting distracted. Uh, okay, let's get rid of these materials. We'll put them in the bottom of here for now. I can't believe we actually have that as a problem. I wouldn't have expected that for... <laughs> but yeah, we went ahead. So I did some exploring and grabbing some random junk resources here over time. Um, but I can't believe we don't have what we need here. Look at that, a couple more ender lilies are done. Guess we need to go down. Wow, that guy was pretty badass. Let's cover this up so they don't come up here anymore. There we go. So hopefully we can find maybe a bit of lapis down here somewhere. Just do a quick brief mining trip here. Oh no. Of course. I was like, where he is? Something's missing here. My food's missing. That sucks. When I have plans and they get all changed up. And now I better wait because uh, day night is here. There you go. We can put that back. Oops. That back. There we go. And uh, ender plurals right here. And then bedtime right here. Got to go right at about 1900 or so on the top left there. That's when the mobs start like appearing everywhere. And that's pretty nasty, you know. Never fixed my roof here. So boom, 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 boom. Getting the biggest headache ever there. wonder if this is the... Oh yeah. What the? Oh, they got string on them somehow, huh? There you go. Oh yeah, when you hold shift, the uh, magnet doesn't work, so of course it acts up there. Here's stuff over here.
We just need one bit of lapis. Once we get a bit of lapis, probably more than enough for us. Uh, can we do this? Yeah. Ow. Ooh. Infected. Damn it, these guys are punishing me. Woo! Okay. Let's eat a bit here. We'll be fine, we just need to uh, light up the place. There you go. Okay, so let's see if we get lucky and find some lapis. You can actually use, if you didn't know this, oh look at these guys here. Oh crap, run. No, you weren't supposed to hit me from there. Where did you get me? Oh. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> we weren't supposed to be able to hack like that. Okay. These are useful. We'll use these down the road, but yeah. I hate how close that gets sometimes when you... There you go. These are essence berry bushes. I love them a lot, actually. Good way to get EXP over time. We found some in a couple places here, too, so that's nice. We'll go back and collect them. Oh, look at this. Gold ones here. It's like Christmas Day in here. Okay. Oh, and aluminum ones. Aluminum ones, yeah. It's just aluminum, right? But uh, some of the other ones I find a little more valuable. Now, I hear a lot of zombies in here, but... Oh crap. String holders. That's why I call them the string holders. Wow. This has been pretty actually entertaining. <laughs> And the best part is, I don't think we found Lapis one time. I was going to show you something here, though. Um, since we're wasting time anyways, and not finding Lapis. Lapis. If you go Lapis here, you should be able to find roughly where to get Lapis, I believe. Yeah, here he goes, Orgen. So the best place for Lapis is 14, apparently. Uh, 11 is not too bad, too. Um but then it shows you like it's off so we we wouldn't actually find lapis actually you can find lapis rarely up this high but of course a little lower is better too high or too low isn't good has a pretty full fat you know fast fall off on it there you go oh, let's see a little right who likes the yellow, right? Not me. Okay, let's try this again. I love mining, to be honest. I've You probably noticed from most of my series, I've hardly done any mining. I mean, this episode, some of you guys will complain, oh, it's slightly boring, but it's probably not going to be that bad for you guys anyways, just because, I mean, compared to what we used to do, there's we're not really doing much of anything anymore. Be nice to know where he came from. Just like do that. Ooh, 
this is a good level cave. This might get us a little lucky. I don't know though. Not really. Can say no to Ferris. Oh, that guy's gonna be trying to come after me soon. Let's get back on the normal level here. Funny, we didn't even find anything. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nasty zombie. You gotta be careful, some zombies can actually do a lot of damage to you if you're not careful. By the way, I realize there's lots of ores and I'm probably killing people who have OCD issues. I do apologize. You know, I have one little goal I want to still complete, and I don't know if I can actually complete it because of that lapis. There you go. Found lapis. We're good now. Isn't that insane though, all that for a bit of lapis? It's all worth it in the end. Wow! My inventory is already full, holy crap. Ooh, I got a creeper trophy. That is insane that my inventory is already full. But hey, we got what we came for, so. Now you see why my inventory keeps getting full. This is why I want to work towards an ME system in the near future. Um, I want to take as much time as I can from staying away from tech, but at the same time, it's like getting to the point where it's like, oh God, I need an ME system or I'm going to go crazy or I'm going to drive you guys crazy. <laughs> That's probably more what it's going to be because this is how I deal with this now. It's like, okay. This is not organized at all, and I just go from chest to chest, seeing where I can fit into it. Except I need to keep this stuff. There you go. There you go. Ooh, found an empty chest. There you go. And there's the little lapis we were looking for. <laughs> Okay, so we can pull all this out again. This is good anyways, because we still have accomplished what we were planning to do this episode for sure. Okay, so um, we are making world interaction upgrade here. So we just click this, shift click. No, because this has a damage value, of course, to annoy us. Ta-da. And we need a bit of lava now. We can make a tank here. Uh, portable. Port. No, portable. Portable. There you go. Sorry, there's a bit of a lag that happens that breaks this. Oh, mechanism has repeated crap. I hate that. Thanks, mechanism being the only mod on here that does repeated liquids 100 times. Uh, ooh, invar. Uh, I might do the invar one then. Reinforced, yeah, too much. So let's do the invar. It's 32 buckets anyways. So all we need is copper, glass, and invar. Um, I made some invar. Basically, it's just ferrous and iron mixed uh, in here, of course, and that's how you make it. Let's go for a nighty night here. Now, I don't actually have buckets of lava on me, which is not a big deal. Actually, can you withdraw lava out of here? I actually don't know. probably didn't even need to do this. Oh, you can, okay. What I was thinking is I'd have to use one of these and put it inside uh, the bucket. 
Um, I'll do it anyways for fun, but I'm just going to show you what I was going to do here. Uh, so let's do hard in here, shift click. That's not good because that means I'm probably legitimately, oh yeah, copper. There you go. Ugh, I hate or dictionary mess ups. There you go. Harden, click. Here we go. So what I was thinking here is I was going to do just something like, you know, this. And then I was going to use the cell that I have and right click into there. <laughs> um, these I can make with tin uh, on a crafting grid. It's really, really easy. It's just like this, but tin. And it gives you 12 of them. And then you can fill it up with lava if you don't want to do the bucket method. It's just a simple, easy way. Uh, but anyways, now that we've done this, we can take this and take that out. And we can make some sort of cobble gen, temporary cobble gen more than anything. But here's cobble. Here's actually, before we do that, let's go here's cobblestone. And then, oops, here's water water what the weird um, and yeah here's water and then we can place this on top of this the transfer node now nothing will happen but when we put a world interaction upgrade boom magic happens and then you can go say here and here to protect the lava from you falling in it and uh, there you go and you actually can do this again for fun like this because why not fill two chests, right? Of course you can go further, but it just covers the holes just for fun. And uh, there you have it. So now, oh, it actually is it doing like round robin style. <laughs> that is a cobble generator. Now, of course, you probably would want faster cobble at times, which, which is fine. Um, world interaction. Here we go. Did we get rid of our little sticks? Oh, yeah, we did. Or maybe I only grabbed enough for one pick at the time. So we can go like this, I guess. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do five, I guess, for now. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then... <sighs> Don't you love it when you run out of, like, iron? It's not that I ran out of iron, that's just that, you know, I don't have iron in my inventory. There you go. We'll just go like this now. <laughs> you can actually, I, I realize you can do something like this and shift, like, middle mouse button, and that'll place everything in its proper spot. And then, there you go. So, one, two, three, four. There you go. And now if we go over here, you can see it's like, you know, how fa much it takes. Oh, it was pretty decent, but I might just break this for now, just because it's annoying to see only the one going anyways. So I won't need more than this anyways. There you go. So that's how fast it comes in now. Boom. So it basically brings in five at a time instead of one at a time. And there you have it. So now we have lots and lots of cobblestone. So we'll push everything back in there so it's not neat. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is, I saw a builder wand over here, so I'm going to go grab the it. Here it is. And then basically now is just building time. And uh, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab a bunch of cobblestone. And uh, I'll probably do it. I guess I could do it through this. doesn't matter. And decide what I want for, like, my floor, walls, etc. I'm going to do these for my floors, maybe? Or you can click the wall and do the design as well if you like, but that's up to you. So here we go. I'll just do it over here somewhere. Okay, so now we just do the ground. And then uh, let's do it by nine, I guess, to start with. I don't know exactly how big I'm building this or how I want to do it. It's just to get started here, I guess. This is kind of how I build my buildings. I don't have design skills. 
never will, never really cared that much, I guess, for anything too designy. Uh, oh yeah, I have this on right now, so let's hit delete, delete. There you go. It's only on the one side now, so you don't have to worry. Because I, I, I would have accidentally hit that at least once there, because I was being really careless. But having the different modes on it really, really help. And there you go. There's the floor. And then we could, we, we could say, hey, let's just do it as a wall too. Why not? I'm not saying I will use it as a wall, but I'm just gonna say for now, let's do it for the wall. And this is a way to save mater materials. You can go like this. That's up to you if you want to do that. There could be some consequences related to blast uh, stuff, but I have no clue for sure. And now what we can do is we can do this again, but hit delete. And what you want to do is do this till it does it around. But there's a really nice one that does this. Nope. There we go. And you can do them all at once. You can't tell me that's not freaking awesome. So that's how you can build decently fast now. Uh, and actually, that looks like a pretty good height, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five is a good height. I don't know. Punch a hole here for now. And I'll let us get in and out. And, uh, yeah. Togi on here yet? No. And there we have it. And now, um... Malice. Do we have that on here? Oh yeah, Malice Doors. Never used this before, but it's a really cool one. Um, I'll use it later. I'll just go with Carpenter Blocks for now. That's the ones I'm used to anyways, and they're kind of nice. Uh, but we'll probably definitely check out the other ones later on. So we just go and make a bunch of sticks here. Put these around, and then put this around, and there you go. And then we can go like this. And uh, I guess we can make, we'll do two. And then we'll make four, one, two, three, four pressure plates. There you go. And oh, you remember I told you there's problems with the, the thing before? Uh, I found out why there was a quote unquote uh, uh, problem with the mod switching. It was switching, it's just stupid me had chat disabled and I couldn't see what it was saying, of course, because it would display a normal chat, and so I derped up badly there, and so everything was sort of working just fine. I just didn't realize. There you go. We'll put that there, and then we can put these here, and then boom, boom. Okay, that's gotta be fixed. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. I always liked the way that double pressure plates always worked. So that'll let me get in and out just fine. And uh, you can switch the mode on here. They're probably by default fine, but uh, monsters, animals, entities, players, okay, monsters, so there you go, players. So it's already on there. Now the nice thing about these is you can go like this and give them the same style look if you want. Unless you read on idle materials. <laughs> There you go. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this one will definitely have to do it this way. Okay, there you go. Uh, da -da -da. And then, there you go. There you go. You just click this and done. And then you can just right click this. And change your different patterns. Now, some of them, because these have like a, a connected texture to make them nice and smooth looking, it doesn't look right on here, but some of them you can actually make them have a really nice kind of setup for that. And uh, there you go. Oh, there's Togi. Sup, Togi. Oh my god. Say goodbye to everyone, Togi. They were talking shit. No, no, I meant we're streaming, recording, recording. Oh, and I just swore. Oh, man. Mature. You're allowed to have like one of those, I think, in an episode. But anyway, say bye. Bye, people. Bye. See you guys next time. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you soon.